हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द लाइफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ सालका एंड फॉर योर इंफॉर्मेशन वी आर डूइंग द पेपर बायोलॉजी ऑफ कॉर्डिट्स व्हिच इज योर पेपर 11 इन सेमेस्टर 3 and the topic we are doing is the life history of sessile and pelagic tunicates and acidian pyrosoma salpa dolulum and icopleura and i have finished with pyrosoma dolulum and icopleura and now it is the turn of the animal salp so let's begin with salp here you can see the entire animal and uh, unlike pyrosoma it is an individual free swimming animal it does not live in a colony so it is a free swimming pelagic thaliacin of cosmopolitan distribution like dolulum it is similar uh, in nature like dolulum it also exhibits a regular alternation of generation between morphologically distinct solitaria and gregaria phases but contrary to that in the former genus the solitaria phase of salpa is represented by an asexual zooid and the gregaria phase by a sexual and solitary individual now the structure of salpa is described in the other slide as a diagram it is present over here let me explain it to you a little on the top you can see the branchial aperture and it is guarded by the branchial muscles and this is the dorsal tubercle the, uh, for your information the side we are seeing is the dorsal side of the animal and the opposite to it is the ventral side so because this is the dorsal side the dorsal lamina will be present in the middle of this surface and this is the dorsal lamina which is also known as branchia in this animal and uh, the animal if you are watching carefully you can see there is this on the ventral side is seen the endostyle this is the endostyle so and on the dorsal side you can see all more structures like dorsal tubercle nerve ganglion and the muscular bands these are the muscular bands uh, which uh, they can vary in number and they can be less they can be more uh, it depends on the age of the animal and the even the phase of the animal in which it is and this is the test the outer covering of the animal here is the test and inside the test is the mantle and on the posterior side like this is the this is the pharyng pharyngeal region and on the posterior side you can see the heart and the intestine and you can see the endostyle continuing into a stolon which give which is which gives rise to new individuals and on the posterior side this is the atrial aperture and there are four extensions on the posterior side of the animal there are four extensions of the test the test extends to form pro four tentacle like structures which are known as the test processes 1 2 3 and 4 so this was the general structure of the animal now let's see now here it is the whole the whole structure which i have already explained is it's given in this slide the free swimming ozoid representing the asexual solitaria phase has a transparent transparent that this is the reason that you would see the endostyle through the even through the dorsal surface 
transparent barrel shaped body with the branchial and atrial apertures at opposite ends branchial aperture was on the anterior side and atrial aperture on the posterior side its musculature consists of 4 to 20 uh, while i was explaining the diagram i told you there are these number of bands they vary so they can be four in an animal as less as uh, the least number is four and the if they can be as more as 20 and they are incomplete annular muscle bands this is the point which i have to explain the muscle bands which are seen dorsally they are a number of muscle bands and they are even anastomosing in the uh, on the central line on the dorsal uh, mid dorsal region they are anastomosing mean they are uh, mixing with each other on this mid dorsal line and these annular muscle bands they are restricted only to dorsal and lateral sides of the body they are not present on the ventral side of the body Uh, these are incomplete annular muscle bands some of these bands usually anastomose in the middle yes yeah, this i was like the thick test is transparent and often papillated the branchial and atrial cavities are large overlapping with each other in the middle region of the body this will be this um, the alignment of the cavities the uh, branchial and atrial cavities will be clear in the next slide where the diagram where the section of the animal is shown the lateral side of the animal is shown these cavities communicate with each other by a pair of large openings which are known as gigantic stigmata situated on either side of the obliquely placed dorsal lamina so let's see in the next slide how this is the cavity uh, see this is the diagram first let's complete this text the latter is ciliated and highly vascular the they talk about the branchial sac it is ciliated and highly vascular and it is always also known as a branchia it lacks languids uh, as you know the, there were dorsal languids on the dorsal hanging from the dorsal lamina of the uh, of pyrosoma in the last animal we did pyrosoma the dorsal lamina had 10 to 12 dorsal languids hanging from the dorsal lamina here you can see there are no languids throughout the length there are no no languids but in some forms there is one sensory languid which is present in the anterior on the anterior region of the dorsal lamina so but in some forms its anterior end bears a languid like projection hanging into the branchial sac and it is supposed to be sensory in function so now let me explain the text i have read in the last slide which was referring to the structure of salpa now this is the dorsal surface this is the ventral surface and i told you how to recognize the surface where the dorsal lamina is present the surface close to the the dorsal lamina is dorsal surface and the surface close to the endostyle is the ventral surface this is the anterior part and this is the posterior side the anterior part is always marked by branchial aperture and posterior by the atrial aperture so uh, the let's see the other labelings uh, first thing the cavities they said the uh, cavities the branchial sac and the atrial sac they are overlapping each other in the center now this is very clear in this diagram they are overlapping each other in the central region the branchial aperture it is guarded by branchial muscles this is the prepharyngeal zone and this is the the branchial sac the prepharyngeal and branchial sac these both zones are separated by uh, these oblique muscular bands the peripharyngeal band 
this i have already told you is the sensory language and on the dorsal surface there are uh, all sensory structures present like dorsal tubercle nerve ganglion and neural gland okay uh, then the branchial sac this is the endostyle you can see very clearly it is marked this is the endostyle this one with the striations and uh, the branchial sac on its posterior side it is continuing into the esophagus the stomach and the intestine and in the loop of the intestine are present the testes the behind the uh, branchial sac on the posterior side of the branchial sac behind the vent, uh, posterior region of the endostyle is present the heart then the anus you can see it is opening into the atrial cavity which is this cavity lying on the top of the branchial cavity this is the atrial cavity and uh, all the on, on this dorsal surface these are the muscular bands which i they said uh, they can be from 4 to 20 these are those muscular bands this is a cross section uh, seen of those bands then this is ovary it is lodged near the atrial cavity and then this is the atrial aperture which is guarded by the atrial muscles and of course the whole animal this black thick covering is the test it is enclosed in a test so this is a sagittal section of an ozoid seen from the left side this is the continuation of the explanation i have given you so let's make a reading of it the rest of the elementary canal is ventral and posterior to the branchial sac a pair of lateral gastric glands or cecae are connected with it the entire viscera is thus closely packed together in this part forming a compact lobular mass called nucleus so what is this nucleus the nucleus is where the the whole elementary tract is concentrated the whole elementary tract Uh, uh, around the stomach there are uh, two glands present and the testes are present in the loop of the intestine so this whole mass together is known as the nucleus the heart lies in mid ventral line behind the endostyle uh, shown you in the diagram the neural complex periparyngeal band and endostyle are placed in usual positions eyes either in the form of a continuous horse shoe shaped pigmented ridge on dorsal surface of the nerve ganglion or of a large median and several smaller smaller lateral ocelli occur in various species of sarpa so this was the structure of sarpa individual and now in the next chapter i will continue with this structure So thank you for now and look forward to another lecture of structure of cell part